Welcome to part four of migrating Comic Press to Comic Easel. Uh, this between the time of the part three and this part four, um, we took his companion code and cleaned it up to make it look all nice and neat in his uh, new Easel site. Um, it was very close because uh, Easel uses pretty much almost all of the uh, uh, class and ID entities of Comic Press. So we was able to mimic pretty much almost everything. Now, one of the problems we do see here is we have the wrong thumbnail image. This thumbnail image is supposed to be quite larger. Uh, we're going to regenerate those thumbnail images to be the appropriate size. First thing we want to do is we want to go to Settings, Media. Now, Comic Easel uses the media settings and the you know the media library for with uh, WordPress, so this is pretty much straightforward. Um, we want the width to be 198 pixels, which uh, normal sidebars are 200 pixels available width, and uh, height. We're going to remove the height requirement. Uh, the reason for that is we're just going to make 198 width by whatever height that it, it comes out to. Uh, medium size, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to remove the height. And large size, we're going to remove the height there as well. Uh, we're going to save. And then we're going to add a plugin to regenerate the thumbnails. So we're going to search for regenerate, if I can spell it correctly, regenerate thumbnails. Search for the plugin. And we want the Ajax Thumbnail Rebuild. Install now. And activate. And we're going to go to Tools, Rebuild Thumbnails. And we... Thumbnails. That's we're going to... Only Rebuild Feature Images. Um, we'll rebuild them all. And what it's doing is Ajax, so that it's not going to push so much processing power on your system. Um, this is really cool because uh, you get to see which ones it's doing at what time. It shows you a count of how many it has to do. Now what happens is uh, Comic Easel's, its comic post, uh, utilizes the featured image settings for its comics. So when you um, add a, a comic, you add a featured image to that comic, and that featured image is the comic itself. That way it uh, is uh, utilized by the media library. I'm going to pause right now and let this uh, continue going because there's going to be you know, over a thousand left to do, and it's going to take a little while. So pausing for a sec. And all right, it finally completed. And what the end result comes out as is that uh, the image is now a larger size to fit in here. It's also large enough to fit into the, the sidebars and not bleed over and everything, just in case we want to move it down. Uh, now that we've regenerated the thumbnails to be an appropriate size, um, I've also cleaned up this we want to go through and we want to which we've already done is uh, we go to comics and chapters remember we we uh, created all those chapters um, I had Eben 07 here he added descriptions to the chapters and if we take a look at uh, looking at it he put in a nice full description of it we also want to do the same thing for characters. When you add characters, we want to add these characters and add descriptions. Looks like we haven't done the descriptions yet, uh, but it is to come. And our system, uh, Comic Easel, it uses the uh, the descriptions in its uh, generation of the archive and the cast pages. Um, I guess we already did the archive page here. It's not up, but it should be slash archives. And there we go. And this is the archive page for Comic Easel. 
what it does, it grabs the first thumbnail, which was this one right here, the first one of the chapter, and it says the chapter name and then the description of the chapter, which is taken directly from that chapters list we had. And it generates a very nice, clean looking archive page for you. Automatically generates it all just from taking all that information. And it does the same thing with a cast page. It takes the information from uh, your description and all of the posts that are in all of the comics that are in that chapter. Cool, huh? All right. Next thing we do is we regenerate the thumbnails. We've cleaned up the website to look pretty much the same. Uh, we take a look at everything else and looks good. That was it. We should be good now. Um, everything else is just touching up your site. And when you add comics or you go through your old comics, you want to uh, either quick edit or otherwise. Um, look at all these locations he's put in already. You want to add tags, characters, your location. Um, when adding characters and tags, you want to make sure that you add uh, primary characters to the characters chart and any tertiary characters that you don't want on the cast page, you add to the tags. You do not want to duplicate them since Abel is already a character there. You want to take that out. Um, 7 is a character. Rupert, and we want to take that out, as, out of the tags. And Sax, since he's in the character list, we want to take that out of the tags as well. We, so that they're not duplicating there. And then go ahead and click update. And you're going to want to do that for every single comic you have going on there. Good deal. All right. That's the end of this uh, tutorial for cleanup phase. And uh, I'll think of something for the next tutorial. We'll talk to you guys later.